I'd like to invite Bill Yarrow to read next. Bill Yarrow is professor of English at Joliet Junior College and the author of Pointed Sentences by Blaze Vox last year. His poems have appeared in many print and online magazines, including Pink, Poetry International, Diagram, and Thrush. His work is forthcoming in Many Mountains Moving, Blue Five Notebook, and Rhino, and he is poetry editor at this literary magazine. Bill Yarrow. It's a pleasure to be here, thank you. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read a few poems from uh, um, Pointed Sentences. This one is called Florid Psychosis, which is a technical term, but I just find it extremely poetic. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> it means completely out of your mind. More than imaginable. Florid Psychosis. <laughs> On the advice of a friend, I stopped dreaming. As a result, I've developed a florid psychosis in which everything I've dreamed for the last 33 years is now real. <laughs> I have new friends, a new job, my dead relatives have all come back, I'm half my weight, have all my hair, reside in Prague. It's February 1924. Kafka won't die until June. Freud's 67. He's just published The Ego and the Id. My superego refuses to read it. <laughs> Lottie Reininger is working on the cutouts for Prince Ahmed. I bought a radio embroidered with pearls. I tuned it to the future, but it only plays the sleepy past. Uh, and this one is called Four Noble Lies. <laughs> Noble Lies. <laughs> well, that's good. So. Um, when Carlotta left me, I cried into my soup. <laughs> I shriveled into harsh mathematics. A decade later, I was living on Iowa Street with Karen. She had goldfish and good taste. I loved her, her fleshy neck. We drank sinewy dos equis and played mahjong. In March, I developed that cruel facial tick. That precipitated the divorce. At the thought of losing her, my heart contracted into a span. But I knew one day I'd replace her with a brutally neutered cat. 